Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at my final character, my Warlock. Uh, my Warlock does not get that much love, unfortunately, just because it's the character I least play. Not the one that I have the least fun with actually if i'm being honest probably that too it's just my warlock i really don't play a lot with her because uh at the end of the day after i'm done with my everything i either go to my warlock or, or my titan or my hunter mostly most likely my hunter mostly because that's the one i main uh but that does not stop me from making my warlock have drip because if you look at her right now she definitely got the drip dog this is probably the best one i've ever done so far I love it. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite looks I've done for my Warlock in a while. The only thing I would probably change, if I'm being quite honest, is the helmet. Like, if I'm being honest, I would probably switch it out with, like, maybe this one right here. But I have already used this helmet, so that's another that's an, that's a reason why I'm not using it. But yeah, like, that looks super fucking cool, dude. Like... Let's uh, get my shader back because I need the shader so I can show you. But that looked really cool. Like I said, I'm definitely not a hater when it comes to Warlock fashion. It's just that my biggest issue with Warlock fashion is the fact that it all t comes down to the chess piece. If you don't have a good chess piece, then it really does fuck up the whole thing. And that's what kind of like pisses me off a little because I feel like... Back in Destiny 1, Warlocks had better, way better options when it came to, like, their arms. Because their arms used to actually not just be their forearms, but it used to be their shoulders as well. When you changed an arm for your Warlock, it changed the whole arm, not just the fucking forearm. So, that's, like, one thing about Warlock fashion that I've hated in Destiny 2 is the fact that they took that out. Because now you get, like... Don't get me wrong, these shoulders are cool, but can you imagine if, like, I had Vex shoulders right here? Like, that would be cool. Like, let's see, let's see that Vex one. So, like, imagine, ugh, those basic as bitch shoulders, but imagine the shoulders. That's the thing, it's like, I get that, like, all of this is connected to the chest piece, but I would have loved if, like, there's something here that you, I don't know. That's just me, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think, but... It's definitely a shame that they got that out because it really limits the Warlocks in a big way. Especially like when it comes to transmog. Are you really going to transmog an arm? Are you really going to do that when all of the arms are really forgettable? Like, let's look at this one. Whatever. S literal no change in my eyes. Uh, like, it's just pathetic in my opinion. And they really need to go back to Destiny 1 where they gave the Warlocks a shoulder for their arms and not their chest piece dictated what what shoulder they got uh same thing with boots in my opinion boots is like don't get me wrong i love the geomax stabilizers with their with this skin but there's some chest pieces that like will f look at this one it's you can still see it for sure but there's just other ones that will just like completely just not show anything like this one it's just unfortunate that like the chest piece really really is the most important factor of the whole thing but even then like i still think this looks really fire i specifically chose this chest piece because most of the time if i'm using geomags i'm using uh storm collar obviously middle tree but what's really cool is if i wanted to change like to solar and change another thing out specifically like the transverse of steps if i wanted to do something like this because this definitely does look cool and then change it to this the only thing that kind of makes me sad is the fact that like it's not the same orange as this like these two oranges are not the same but i still think this would look cool like dude Warlocks have a lot of cool glows that they can fuck around with. Sure, Titans and Warlocks, or Titans and Hunters do have similar armor sets that have the glow, but damn, dude, like, Warlocks just have so much cool shit that you can combine with it. So, that's pretty much my Warlock. When it comes to builds, obviously, I just have two things masterwork because I can't be, I don't care, dog. Like, I, again, like I said, the thing, the cool thing is sunsetting is over, so now I ha I'm more incentivized to find my forever armor to see which one i want to fucking like build and whatnot so i definitely will try to like see what i can and cannot do 
but overall this is my warlock like i said i i'm not gonna go through weapons just because that's like something i usually go through for my hunter because he's my main and if whatever weapon he has most likely i'll be rotating it to my other classes but uh astral horizon i ended up getting this one like my i have one with elemental capacitor and threat detector with assault mag this is one of my favorite ones because it gives me basically uh quick draw it's basically like my the poor man's version of having quick draw on this because threat detector obviously increases reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity but if you're just using uh arc then it already increases your handling by a fuck ton so like that's that's it right there that's how much handling i get because i have arc on currently and with threat detector it'll probably boost it all the way up so this one's definitely one of my favorites it's it can it can really do work if you get a really good roll i think i got a really good roll with maybe threat detector being the weak one i maybe have, should have gone something else but elemental capacitor never thought i would say this this is fire you should get this and last but not least my io soul this is like one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game currently uh I would like to get something else like maybe quick draw snapshot sites if it can roll with that uh but most of the time i'm just planted and uh box breathing helps because most of the time i i am aiming that long that box breathing comes into effect and this this weapon makes me very happy especially since like there's like one round of trials that i just destroy people with this or not trials i'm sorry uh just regular pvp and that's pretty much it. I don't have anything too crazy. I mean, I have my mini tool, which I think is uh, not the best. It's definitely weak in my opinion, but I still love it. It's still one of my favorite guns uh, just because it's, it's an SMG. I love SMGs. I have a bunch of hand cannons. Honestly, I've been thinking about doing a vault review because I have so many stuff in my vault that I just would like to show you guys. But let me know if you're, if you're interested in that. That's pretty much it. I have nothing else to talk about aside from like maybe my ghost and my sparrow are from the raid. I wish we got a a ship from the raid, but whatever. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Warlocks, did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's links are in the description below. Uh, I will have a thank you video for getting up to a thousand uh, subscribers, which is wild. Still has not synced in that I have I have a thousand subscribers now, but I thank you guys, everyone who subscribed, liked video, everything. But I'll talk about that more in my thank you video, and I'll see you guys later.